All right guys, just wanted to show you a little bit of what we're doing on this gas pedal here. So the original gas pedal that came out of the truck, I think I can show it to you here. This guy right here was a standard, you know, throttle cable assembly. So we pulled all that out and we're switching to the drive-by wire for the LS. And, but we have to figure out how to mount the, um, the pedal itself. Cause it's not the original pedal. I believe we got that one out of like a 05 Tahoe or something. We basically had to get one to match this connector, which came with the, the Holley Terminator, Terminator X, I believe. So this matches that plug right there. This, this pedal is what I was talking about. came out of that Tahoe. So I need to get this pedal mounted up here. And those three holes in that plate is what I just cut that plate out of uh, steel. I think it's like quarter inch maybe or three eighths. Um, and then I have to mate that or basically figure out how to mate this pedal assembly to that. So see if I can set this here, maybe you can see. So what I think I'm going to do is just come off of this plate with like a little... Uh, a piece like that you know just this this will be uh, the same type of metal and I'll weld it to the plate like that and then weld the uh, the existing pedal plate onto the end of this here so it'll be kind of like that if that makes sense so this will be welded onto there like that and then this gets welded to that this piece gets welded to that plate on the floor there but this thing I need to trim up a little bit this is the existing plate you can see the metal piece there so this just needs to get trimmed up I think I'm gonna trim it like right there trim that off and then I'll trim these pieces here just to make it a little more easier to work with and easier to fit in there and it's gonna have to kind of sit off I think at an angle like that a little bit to give us enough room for the the pedal itself to move all the way down to give us that free range of motion and it's not a big I don't know if you can really see it there, but it's not a huge range of motion. Maybe on the, on the solid surface there, it's it's not a ton of movement, you know? That's pretty much the whole range, so. And then the Holly should be able to learn that once we set up the calibration and all that. So that's what I'm working on now. I got that plate done. I think I'm going to cut one of these out of steel and then weld it to that plate. Get that welded to this one, trim this up, and uh, that should be it. And then, yeah, I'll show you guys as we go along here some of the steps we're taking once I make a little more progress. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. All right, guys. I got this little mount set up for the pedal here. So this is the, the pedal mount I just cleaned up and, you know, got all the paint off because we're going we're gonna to repaint it and weld it and everything. So this pedal assembly will go like that on the plate. And then this gets welded to here basically like that and then that makes the whole little mount we need these will go in by wrench because I probably won't be able to get a ratchet in there once all this stuff is on but we decided to go with square tubing as opposed to a flat piece just because I think it'll be a little stronger so yeah I just got to get this welded to here then get this welded onto this get that bolted up and then uh, basically test fit it we also cut if you can tell right here we cut maybe that much off the bottom of this pedal just to make it fit better in the truck. And then did a little rounding on the sides, tried to clean it up a little bit. Doesn't look too bad. It's a little pedal, but it'll do what we needed to do. So, so I'll get you guys set up on a time lapse here and we'll get going. guys just wanted to show you the uh, semi finished product here so this mounts basically like that against the floor of the dash and then the new uh, if you guys get the lights good enough in here the new pedal just slides into here basically goes on like that mount it up and uh, it should be good to go I'm gonna get it mounted up now just as a dry run um, just to make sure Christopher is cool with the position and everything he can get in here and check it out and then we'll clean it up a little bit more, get it painted, and we'll be good to go. All right, guys, we got the pedal in and installed. 
don't know how well you can see it with my lighting situation here. So you can see the bolts and stuff in the back there. And just the one on the other side. Right there. And that's pretty much the setup. And that'll be the pedal. You know, with the, other, the brake pedal there. And then you can see it goes down pretty close to the floor, but not all the way. So it, I'm actually pretty pleased with how that came out. And then this plug, this plug here, you know, it's the drive-by wire. It just has to go right into that there. So this will just plug in in there. But we have to figure out how to run this, this plug here through the dash. You know, because I, I mean, that's a big plug to try and run through the dash. So you need to make a huge hole. So I'm going to figure that one out because the computer is going to be mounted in the engine bay. So this gonna, the cable runs from the, the engine bay basically from the computer to here in the throttle body itself. And I'm trying to do a little, try and keep this real clean so Christopher can keep some of the originality of the truck and not cut it up too much. That's why we're trying to use like the stock mounting holes and stuff, you know, for the original gas pedal. So that's kind of the thought process behind that. But yeah, it's in. It's good to go. Should work fine. We're just going to basically pull it out now, paint it, you know, figure out how to do that plug, and then uh, get it all installed and wired up. We'll be good to go. All right, guys. We're working on the gas pedal again, the drive-by wire. So I wanted to show you what I'm doing here to uh, get this thing wired up. So this is the actual plug that's going to have to come through the firewall from the engine bay and then connect to the uh, the pedal itself. The thing's not focusing for some reason, but that's the plug. It travels back to this connector here. So what my plan is, is I looked at depinning this one, but it didn't really work out well. It's kind of a nightmare. So what I think I can do is just come to the other end on the back of this and pop them out that way, pop them out of here. Then I'll be able to use the original, uh, the original hole in the firewall for the the wire, the just the standard throttle cable. It's just a little square hole. So I can get this out of here and then through that hole and then we don't have to cut up the, the firewall anymore. So from what I understand, I, see that little white, this white thing right here, we should be able to just push that in with like a little screwdriver. That'll pop the two white ones out in the back. These will kind of pop out and then that lets you know that it's um free to pull the wires in and out if that makes sense see if i can film it here bear with me all right so we got our little uh let's see if this will focus for you guys okay so if i just pop that out so you hear how it snapped and then popped out and then i don't know if you can see that but those are like sticking up now they're kind of popped out now I should be able to, in theory, just pull the specific ones out that I need, which is this uh, blue, yellow, green, or blue, yellow, orange, and black. Well, if I can get this guy here. See how it just pulls out like that? It takes a little bit of force, but not too bad. So I'll just finish up the rest of these here. And then that should free up this little piece of the cable by itself or harness, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, this thing's good to go now. So all I got to do is run this piece through the original hole in the firewall and we'll be good to go. Matter of fact, let me, uh, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. Just so you know, if you're ever doing this yourself. Okay. So there's my new, uh, the mount for the, the new pedals right there got it all painted up and then if you can see that hole right there that's the original throttle cable so I had to open up that cardboard and stuff to get it out a little bit it's kind of a pain but I got it so I'm just gonna feed that through there and that'll run to the uh, the little ECU up in the front of the engine bay so yeah let me get that done I'll get it all buttoned up and then I'll show you guys the finished product here got the uh, the gas pedal is pretty much final install here. If you can see the little bracket, I've got all bolted in in the back. 
pedal assembly is mounted to the bracket now and I've got my uh, plug is there plenty of room in between here you probably can't see it but maybe you can there but yeah it's all plugged up ready to go I've got it run into the engine bay and I also used a uh, that exact same little throttle cable hole for this wire here which is actually the cable for the little uh, digital display for the Terminator X and Christopher's not exactly sure where he wants to mount this or how he wants to mount it I just wanted to make sure I could fit both cables in there no problem which I can and it's all good to go but we'll wait on that to see exactly where he wants to put that but I just wanted to show you on this harness up here so this is my wires coming through it came through the firewall and I just routed them over here where the uh, the terminator is mounted and the fender well here and then I wanted to show you how to put these wires back into this plug here because this is the plug that's going to go over to the uh, I'm not sure what the right word for this is, throttle body if you will I guess. This plug here comes off that same harness back over to here and then back down to the throttle cable and it all works in unison there. But what you do is basically the exact same process of this here. So you'll push this little thing in with the screwdriver and then it'll pop out and you'll see these two little guys pop back out like I showed you before and then you just reinsert the wires into the, the correct holes put them all back in there and then you do the you just push these two back in and it clips them back into place and you're good to go so yeah that's pretty much a wrap on the drive-by wire but if you guys do like the content please comment like and subscribe it really helps us out we've got a few more projects we want to uh, we'd like to share with you guys but that'll really help us out and keep us going and you know allow us to be able to do those things and continue showing you these projects so I do appreciate you guys watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one.